parsha begins, Ela Toldos Noyach. These are the descendants of Noyach, or as Rashi explains, the deeds, the accomplishments of Noyach. Noyach ish tzadik tomim hoyo bedaroso. Noyach was a perfect tzadik in his generations. There's a great Hasidic Rebbe, the Rebbe Rabunim of Prashitzcha, one of the great Polish Hasidic leaders of almost 200 years ago. And he made a very interesting observation. Somebody, mothers, fathers, they, they go to school, they learn, they, they build themselves up, they become adults, and then they stop growing because they're doing everything for the children. And the children grow up, and they stop accomplishing things because they're doing everything for their children. And this goes on generation after generation after generation. And the Reverend Bunim asked a very interesting question. Where is the child who is worthy of all of this suffering, all of this lack of achievement, lack of growth on the part of his parents so that he could grow? And the next, gener and the next generation, where is the child who is worthy of all of this? And the Reverend Bunim says, that's what the Torah is telling us. Ela told us Noyach. You know who the generations of Noyach were? Noyach, Noyach himself. As much as he did for his time, as much as he did for his family, as much as he certainly sacrificed for his children the way we all do, he did not neglect himself. There was a great American educator of about oh, the last century, Nicholas Murray Butler, who was president of Columbia University for 30 years, and he's the one who built it into one of the great universities in the world. He said, on the tombstone of the average man, should be inscribed, died at 30, buried at 70. The Rebbe Rabbonim, we don't need Nicholas Murray Butler. We have our own, we have our own Tamir Chacham, our own leaders, our, our own Gedolim. You have to work, you have to raise your children. You have to work for your community. But as my Rosh Hashiva once said, never neglect the individual who is called I. Rebbe Gedal Yeshua said that the first time I heard him speak. You don't neglect yourself. You have to set aside time, time for learning, time for tefillah, time for introspection, time for achievement. Mm -hmm.